coronavirus. Deaths surpassed 200 and continue to increase day by day. The World Health Organization declared on 30th of January 2020 that the new coronavirus outbreak was a global health emergency, acknowledging that the disease represents a risk outside of China, where it emerged on December 2019. The declaration officially called a public health emergency of international concern serves notice to all United Nations member states that the world's top health advisory body rates the situation as serious. While concerns are growing about the deadly new virus behind a fast-spreading epidemic in China, let's get more information about coronavirus. But first, do not forget to subscribe the channel and turn on notifications to get latest must-know videos. What is a coronavirus? This new virus belongs to a family of viruses known as coronaviruses, named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces. They infect mostly bats, pigs, and small mammals, but they mutate easily and can jump from animals to humans and from one human to another. Coronaviruses were identified in 1960s but aren't known where they come from. In recent years, they have become a growing player in infectious disease outbreaks worldwide. Seven strains are known to infect humans, including this new virus, causing illnesses in the respiratory tract. Four of those strains cause common colds. Two others, by contrast, rank among the deadliest of human infections: SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. Researchers aren't sure how the novel coronavirus first infected people in China, but the viruses that cause SARS and MERS, which originated in bats, provide clues. Where did this new coronavirus come from? The new virus likely came from bats, scientists say. It isn't known exactly where or how it jumped to humans, though. Health officials believe the outbreak originated in a large animal and seafood market in Wuhan, China. Of the first 41 cases, 27 had some exposure to that market, according to a report in the medical journal The Lancet. But three of the first four people to become ill on December 1st and December 10th, they said, had no contact with the market. Scientists say it will take some time to identify the exact source. How is the virus spread among humans? It is likely spread through a cough, kiss, or other contact with saliva. Chinese officials say MERS and SARS spread mainly through respiratory droplets produced when someone coughs or sneezes. Those two viruses spread mostly through close contact. What are the symptoms of illnesses, and how do you know if you have it? The virus infects the lower respiratory tract. Patients initially develop a fever, cough, and aches, and can progress to shortness of breath and complications from pneumonia, according to case reports. Some patients become only mildly ill. Others are mildly ill for a few days, then rapidly develop more severe symptoms of pneumonia. Who is mostly at risk? Adults of all ages have been infected. Nearly three quarters of the initial 41 patients were male. Many of the first patients who died were over 60 years old, had other illnesses such as diabetes, and were admitted to hospitals when their illness was advanced. Few children have been reported with the infection, but that could change. In a bit of address, the soaring number of coronavirus cases in Wuhan and nearby cities, Chinese officials ordered the construction of a thousand-bed hospital that they aim to have completed by February 3rd. The plans, officials say, would follow a similar model to the hospital constructed in Beijing during the 2002 and 2003 SARS outbreak, which took a week to complete and wound up treating around 700 patients. The things you should do to protect yourself from the coronaviruses are things you should do every day. Specialists point out the number one thing you can do to prevent any respiratory illness is to practice good personal hygiene. Wash your hands with soap or use a hand sanitizer that contains alcohol. Sneeze and cough into tissues or the crook of your elbow. If you get snot or spit on your skin, clean it off right away. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, especially people exhibiting respiratory symptoms and fever. Stay home when you are sick.
regularly and thoroughly clean surfaces such as countertops and doorknobs with a disinfectant. Healthcare workers should motivate people about epidemic because sometimes fear is more dangerous than disease itself. We can set an example as Black Death or plague that peaked in Europe approximately 700 years ago. Then incidents of insanity increased remarkably and masses suffered from consequences such as confusion, panic and insecurity. We have high hopes that before this issue reaches catastrophic levels, the much-needed vaccine will be developed to prevent the fast-spreading disease from taking more lives. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves, hoping these bad days end very soon.